hi 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 and welcome back to my channel now today i want to talk to you about an environmental audit what should they be looking for if an auditor came to your facility what are some of the things that they will be looking out for so if you want to know keep on watching we have really really talked about the environmental audit if an auditor came to your facility what they'll be looking for is one how compliant you are to the laws and regulation that is legislative framework that governs your specific project they will be like are you confirming are you conforming to the law to the laid down regulations of your industry for example if you're in petrol station or if you're in the milk processing plant are you do you have all the required registrative documents for example do you have an efferent discharge license for your efferent waste that is of course has high very a high protein uh level the other one they're going to look at do you have an emission license so probably you have a, a um an incinerator or a chamber a burner a burner a chamber and you emit into the atmosphere do you have an emission license so one of the things they are going to look at is laws and regulations the registrative framework that you ought to have complied to are you compliant how is the safety of the area of your workers are you conforming to the laid down regulation so that is the first thing they are going to look at the second thing they are going to look at if they come for an environmental audit is how you are confirming to the environmental management plan now listen i mentioned in this video that you need to be very sure of the people you are hiring to do an environmental impact assessment for you before you implement your project because i told you in the report they are going to develop an environmental management plan which now you will have to comply with so now imagine you had somebody who is not really conversant with you with your project who is not really conversant or had not have your did not have your business at heart as they did the assessment and they did a management plan that probably was a copied from another project and was not specific to your project and now you have to comply to that project imagine the hassle and the pay it will take you to go through the amendment and the changing because now the auditor will check to see if you are implementing the laid out environmental management plan that was done by the person who did the uh the assessment for you so they're going to check if you're confirming you have a license from nema are you conforming to the conditions that we are given they have to check and see how well you are following up these things so that's the second thing the thing number three that they're going to do is to review the documentations that you have they want to see did you implement according to the designs that we are there do you have the, the documentation you have for the infrastructure in your facility have you implemented the project accordingly there are designs that you said for example you could have said you are going to connect your project to the sewer line for waste for sewer treatment and then now they want to see the auditor wants to see is that what you did did you alter the designs or did you decide to do a board digester instead of a sewer line or to connect it to the sewer trunk they want to see the level of compliance by the proponent with the conditions of the all the infrastructural facilities and designs okay that is the that thing the other thing they want to see okay you're operating you're confirming to the laws and regulations you are confirming to the designs all the infrastructure that have been put placed down and the how they are supposed to be done they also want to see what you have in place as control measure in case of fire how prepared are you how trained are you they want to see how you have you have do you have monitoring parameters for example how can you be able to tell that your waste is not polluting the water do you have monitoring uh, systems in place how do you monitor do you have parameters that you take regular you check into regularly how can you be able to tell when something has been altered that could be in 
form of emissions effluent or even in the in the life cycle of your product for example you're producing plastic how can you be able to tell do you have monitoring systems in place to monitor uh, your business operations and in case of an accident or in case of an emergency what should be done do you have those ones in place are they documented you need to make sure those standard operating procedures are documented i'm saying this because most of the facilities have audited the documents the systems are not documented so if you are in a position make sure to document these procedures also do you have control measures like for example assuming you are somebody who is in the milk plant in the, you have a milk plant you are doing milk processing yeah? and one day there is an accident so that milk pours off in large amounts i don't know what could have caused that but just in case there was a system failure or something do you have systems in place to correct on that mistake or for example there is uh you have pretreatment while you do pre treatment before you release your water into the sewer line. and then your pre treatment system fails do you have a way of correcting that these are things the auditor is going to check and that is the thing number four i guess the other thing they might want to see or to know is to is records of accidents in your facility for example if you if you are operating a, a what a mine you're mining quarrying and crushing do you have records of accidents that could have happened in the facility now here i want to see what caused these accidents how many accidents are you uh, facing or how many accidents are happening say in a span of one month what is causing these accidents could it be something that could be rectified probably some some, some the, the roofing or the lighting in the place is not good and that has caused several people to fall down the stairs then you need to come up with a way of ensuring that that staircase is well lit and how is the best way if you are having roofing then you could do a transparent roofing sheet to reduce on doing a bulb at that staircase you get what i'm saying so you're saving on the electricity saving you the costs and also saving the resources you get what i'm saying so i want to see the record of accidents that could have happened in future you can also predict what could happen in future in cases of accidents because like i've told you severally the environment that i talk about or what i believe and what i advocate for is sustainable development and sustainable sustainable development for me stands for three p's the people you must make sure the people who are working for you in a facility are well 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 taken care of the working conditions are okay and they have the required or necessary documentation the necessary uh medis, med, medical uh, requirements they have the ppes and stuff so the people we also looking at the planet then that is where i am going to say you don't need to release this waste into the atmosphere make sure you treat this waste before you you release it connect to the sewer line if you can't then you pay for pollution the other thing is the profit you are a business person the only reason you came into business is true for money i'm also in business i'm looking for money so profits is a must we must do whatever we can to make businesses profitable okay so the environment compliance and uh, these things should ensure that your business remains profitable so i'm going to to try and see where i can save your coins